Hello students. So today in our biology class, we are going to discuss about a new chapter, fundamental unit of life. So in your NCERT textbook, so this will be chapter number five, fundamental unit of life. Today we are going to discuss about what is cell, what are the types of cell, and history of cells. Introduction. Any structure of a plant or animal is when seen under microscope, it is found that it is made up of many small units called cells. Cells are very small and cannot be seen by naked eyes because it is microscopic in nature. In Latin word, it refers to a little room. Cell is the smallest structural and functional unit of life. I repeat. Cell is the smallest structural and functional unit of life. The cell is regarded as a fundamental structure and functional unit of life because the basic unit structure of the all the living organism is made up of cells. Hence, cells is known as structural unit of life. So this will be our brief discussion about fundamental unit of life description. So, it regulates all the function inside in organisms. Study of form, structure and composition of cell is known as cytology. Here where is cytology, the name refers cyto means cell, logy means study. So, the study about the cell is known as cytology. Cell is the fundamental structural and functional unit of living being. So this will be the definition of cell. All living things are made up of one or more cells. So every cell has its own life. Old and weak cells in the body continually die and are replaced by new cells. All organisms including ourselves starts life as a single cell called the zygote. Cells are so small, that is microscopic in nature, that they cannot be seen with the naked eye. So, cell was first discovered by Robert Oak in, in 1665. He observed that just like the honeycomb, organisms are also composed of small compartments. He named these compartments as cells. So, this we will discuss in next up, up, upcoming slide. First, we discuss about invention. So, microscope is an instrument which used to see the object which is microscopic in nature. That is very tiny small objects which cannot be seen under the naked eye. We can see under microscope. The first microscope was constructed by Dutch scientist Hanton van Leeuwen Oak. All this microscope consists of a single biconvex lens and were called simple microscope. Some of these microscopes had a considerable magnifying power up to 200 times. In 1674, Leeuwenhoek, with the help of developed microscope, discovered the first free living cells in pond water. So the Robert Hook was a person who discovered the cell in 1665, Hanjerman Levenhoek is a person discovered the first free living cells in pond water in the year 1674. So he is a person Hanjerman Levenhoek, scientist. Okay, so here you can see the small microscope. Next is Robert Oak. So this was the Robert Oak microscope. Discovery of cell. Robert Hook, an English scientist, developed a microscope by using two lenses for achieving greater magnification. So here the Robert Hook will be the person like upgraded version of Anton van Leeuwenhoek microscope. Okay. So simple microscope to the next level of microscope is invented by Robert Hook. Such microscopic wave later known as compound microscope. So, Antelman Leeuwenhoek microscope is called small or simple microscope. Here, Robert Hooke microscope 
is called compound microscope. Pook examined a thin slice of cork, the dead cells of oak bark. Under his microscope, he noted small geometric shape which he named cells because they reminded him of the small room monks lived in at the monastery. So what happened? So he, he was taken a thin slice of cork. So cork is refers to so the bottle uh, which is closed by a like what? Which is closed as a lid. Okay. So that is what? The wooden piece. So that is referred as cork. So that is like the tree called oak. Oak bark of dead cells. So he just uh, taken that piece, that cork, and he made a thin slice. And he just kept under the microscope. And here they study about the geometric shapes like polygonal or rectangular shapes. And he named that as called cells. Because they reminded him of the small room monks lived in the monastery. Cell is the fundamental unit of life. Cork cells microscope all the living organisms are made up of cells. It is a structural and functional unit because whole body is made up of cells. It is known as the fundamental unit of life. So this cell is a Latin word, is a little room coined by Robert Oak in 1665. So this will be the uh, an ordinary compound microscope. So today we are using this, which is greatly improved design of the original Oak's microscope. Okay. So here in this compound microscope, you can see at the top eyepiece. So on the um, stage, above the stage, you can see the objective lens. On the stage, you can place the slides. And below the stage, you can see the light. Okay. And there will be the two adjustments like course, fine and main course adjustments. So this was the first slide which is absorbed by oak. So this is a cork of oak tree. Okay, so this will be the first identified session in this as a slide in the microscope. Now the later version will be electron microscope. Hans Rusko and Mask Known built the first electron microscope in 1931. For this and subsequent work on the subject, the scientist was awarded, awarded the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1986.